here with Brooke, and we're standing in front of the Mambo Berry on first Thursday. Um, Brooke, what do you have going on here? I have jewelry and clothing embellished with vintage fabrics, mainly jewelry, um, all handmade by me, uh, incorporating metal smithing, beading, um, copper work, and mainly copper and sterling is what I use. So well, what about this necklace that you have on your neck right now? This is one of the first copper pieces I made, and um, these are all beads that I got in Kenya in 07, and I incorporate those in most of my designs. So you, you have a little thing here about Africa. What are you what are you doing with Africa? The purpose behind my stuff that I make is 50% of my proceeds go back to Kenya. Um, I went over there in 2007 into um, Nairobi and Bungoma village in western Kenya. And um, I have a friend that lives there and so we just give her 50% of the proceeds and she goes and buys cows. Cool. So we're here at Mambo Berry. Um, with Jacob and Aaron. Aaron. Um, you guys, what do you have going on here? What makes Mambo Berry different from the other frozen yogurt places? Uh, first of all, we're out of the trailer. Uh, it's, uh, I guess the whole concept behind Mambo Berry is healthy alternatives. I mean, everything from our smoothies to our food to our yogurt, uh, excluding, uh, I guess, a handful of toppings. Fruity Pebbles and Captain Crunch, everything's actually pretty, uh, pretty good. For it. And it's made with local yogurt. The bulk of the product is local yogurt, and it's real high in probiotics, the white mountain yogurt. And it tastes like yogurt. It doesn't taste like ice cream. No, can I just, I just need to say that um, I love their frozen yogurt, and uh, they're I right down the street in my house. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks, you guys, and yeah. um, stay cool. Okay, you thanks. too. Sorry, folks, but this tea is just so good. It just goes. <laughs> we got some free tea over here. Free sweet leaf tea. Hey, oh my goodness, the bottle. So we're here on South Congress with Brad from Austin Pets Alive. Um, Brad, you know, I walk by here every day and you guys always have some dogs out here. Uh, tell me a little bit about what you guys do. We're the largest rescue in Austin. We try to make, uh, try to make Austin a no-kill city. All these dogs and we have cats that are rescued out of Town Lake Animal Center on the day they're scheduled to be euthanized. And again, what we're trying to do is take as many dogs from the shelter as possible to prevent them from being killed. Okay. And well, people can find you here between Hotel San Jose and uh, Pearl ICC and all of that? Yeah, it, the cross street is Gibson and South Congress. We're here from about 10.30 in the morning till about 7 every day. We're here on Thursdays because of first Thursday until about 8.30 or 9 o'clock. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Brad. Well, thank you. Appreciate it.